So about three years ago, a friend of mine gave me a book that he told me had changed his life. It was a book called Tattoos on the Heart by a guy named Father Greg Boyle, uh, and it changed my life. I didn't even make it through the first chapter without crying repeatedly. Uh, it wasn't a book that told you how to live your life. It was simply a guy who was sharing how he lived his. I thought it had just affected me. I thought no one else had even heard of this book before. Uh, a few years later, I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine named John Flynn, who's a phenomenal singer-songwriter out of Delaware. And John told me about a book he had just read that really just blew him away. Uh, and I asked him what it was and was shocked to find out it was also the same book, Tattoos on the Heart. Two hours later, John calls me back and in a cosmic case of good timing, he'd gotten a call from a friend in California who wanted to know if he might want to come out and do a benefit to raise money for a local charity called Homeboy Industries, which is what the book Tattoos on the Heart is all about. The author of the book founded Homeboy Industries, uh, and John and I both knew that, and John called me for advice. Uh, I have about uh, 6,000 shows under my belt as a concert promoter, uh, and when he called me, I was excited to be on board, but my first thought as the way I approach things is how can we make this bigger? Uh, so John and I came up with a plan to turn this from a small charity concert into a once-in-a-lifetime event, and I decided to, to reach out to an artist whose message corresponds with the whole concept of Homeboy Industries. Uh, so we put all of our eggs in one basket, crossed our fingers, and sent a message off to uh, legendary singer-songwriter Chris Christofferson. And in the fastest turnaround time I've ever had in my life, Chris responded nine minutes later with a two-sentence email that simply said, I cried my way through the book myself, I'm in. So I called John and told them that we wanted to put on a major benefit show, legendary talent, one night only event. Uh, John agreed, he started to make some phone calls to help spread the word and the first phone call that I made after that was to a good friend of mine uh, who's an author named Stacy Nikos. I got involved in this project because as a writer what I try to do is inspire and this real life story has inspiration in spades. It's got heartbreak and redemption and a kind of generosity that you just don't come across every day. So when Johnny asked me if I wanted to be a part of documenting that, it was too great of an opportunity to pass up. So here I am. And I called a good friend of mine who's an independent filmmaker in New York named Shane Greer. This story and this project, this documentary that we want to make, inspires me because I think we all deserve second chances. And if there's one thing I've learned in my life, second chances lead to hope. And hope has a domino effect. And I said, why don't we document this event, a combination of a behind-the-scenes all-access pass to a legendary singer-songwriter, and a concept of documenting love. What could possibly make five, six, eight people from completely different backgrounds instantly want to dedicate themselves to this cause? Uh, Father Greg Boyle is an inspirational man, and Homeboy Industries is an inspirational organization. And we thought if we could take our time document this story that it was one that we definitely want to spread and share with other people. I hope you'll help us. Even if you're not remotely interested, at least check out Homeboy Industries because they've inspired us and I think they'll inspire you too. So thanks for checking us out and we hope to hear from you.